Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we continue on with the nice question series. Today's question comes from the advanced syllabus, um, a question in the probability topic, in, in, specifically conditional probability. So it's from the HTC 2023. Um, I think it was the second last question in the test. So it's not meant to be super hard. Uh, I don't think it is super hard, but I just thought it was a good question. Nice question, hence hence why it's in, in this video. So before I begin, um, if you haven't already done so, please, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends. Guys, let's dive right in. So, HSC 2023, four year 12 students want to organize a graduation party. All four students have the same probability, PF, of being available next Friday. So, PF is available next Friday, and PS, which is available next Saturday. Okay, cool. Now, a few things are given. The probability of PF right? Probability of Friday available is that. Um, probability Now, conditional probability is here, PSF, right? So probability of Saturday, given that they're Friday um, available, is that. And the probability of Friday, given that last Saturday was available, is that. Okay, Kim is one full students. Is Kim's availability next Friday independent, right? I think that word there is key. Next Friday, independent, um, from his, his available uh, next Saturday, right? So first question there, are they independent? Right? Is the probability of Friday independent from next Saturday? Okay. So that the probability of uh, that Kim is available next Saturday is that? Okay. And what is the probability at least one of the four students is not available next Saturday? Okay. Guys, let's begin. So are they, is, are they independent now? To be independent, Basically, if I gave you P, X, Y, or so P, X, conditional Y, M, if that equals to P, X, right, then they're independent, right? That is the definition of independent. So for that to happen, right, in this question, I have to have the probabilities exactly the same. So in this question here, um, so I can see that the probability of Friday equals to 3 on 10, and then the probability of Friday, given Saturday was three, is one on eight. They're not equal. So therefore, so P of F doesn't equal to P of F given S. It's therefore not independent. Easy peasy, one marker. Yeah, not too hard. Next one. Now, next one basically just... Um, requires you to use the conditional probability formula a few times, right? So, puppy. So what do I want? Show that the probability that Kim is available next Saturday. So they want probability of S only by itself, right? It's four on five. Okay, cool. So the way we're going to attack this is now the two available things that I want. Remember, the formula connects P of F and P of, oh, sorry, not those two, wrong two. Um, connects this guy and this guy, right? Because the conditional probability expansion of that is P of F intersection with S. Oh no, wrong ones. Again, these two, right? Probability, uh, so the P of S given F is is equal to probability of S intersecting with F over probability of F. I've got probability of F. So therefore I can actually find um, the intersection and then using the next um, conditional probability, I can then find the probability of S, right? So it sounds a little bit convoluted, but here we go, right? So I need to I need to prove this, right? That's not given. That's what I have to prove. So the probability of S given F is equal to the probability of S intersecting with F over probability of F, right? Yeah, that's the conditional probability formula. Now, what do I know? I know that this side here, right? This guy is equal to a third. I know that this guy is equal to um, three on 10, right? I can make this guy the subject, right? That's the guy I need to make the subject, right? So let's do that. So make the blue the subject there, the probability that S intersecting with F equals to a third multiplied by three on 10, that equals to one on 10, right? That's good. Now, using the other conditional probability um, expression. So probability of F given S, right, is equal to probability of 
um, F intersecting with S all over probability of S. Now, guys, this is what I want, right? The green is what I want. I'll put a question mark there, right? Yeah, this is this guy upstairs, right? Same thing, right? Same thing. So probability of F intersecting with S, same as S uh, given F, right? And then this guy here is also given as well, right? That guy there is, uh, what is it in the question? One on eight, right? This guy here is equal to one on eight. Cool. So sub everything in and then make um, the green the subject in this case. So therefore, probability of Saturday equals to blue, which is one on 10 divided by one on eight. Is that four on five, guys? Because it's eight on 10, right? Eight on 10. Therefore, probability of Saturday equals to four on five. How's that? So that's just rearranging the conditional probability formula a little bit um, to get your, or twice actually, um, to get P of Saturday. Yeah. Nice so far. I, th I thought I thought that bit um, was quite nice. The last one. What is the probability now? This one here. Two. It's two marks, but it's more the language, right? Probably at least one. So right now I'm thinking of probability. Um, so at least one, right? Spelled this wrong. At least one is equal to one minus the probability of none, right? That's that's what I'm thinking so far. So or the opposite of what whatever they want. So at least one of the four students is not available. So the opposite for this one. So for part C, that'll be one minus the probability that they're all available, right? Yeah, all available. Yeah, and since available is four and five, right? Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't see that four and five. I actually proved it four and five. Great. And and they're all they all have the same probabilities. This is going to be one minus all available is going to be this guy to the power of four, right? It's as simple as that. So I actually think part B is much harder than part C. If you punch it in the calculator, um, I think it's 0 0.5904. Pretty straightforward, guys. That's it. So it was a nice question. Lots of uh, conditional probability, um, a little bit of um, probability at the end to do with um, complementary events. Not too hard. Guys, nice question. If you like that, um, hit the like button, um, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. Thank you very much. See you guys at the next one.